I'm from Kenosha. I say Kenosha, that great big busy town. Right in the middle of the USA, between the New York Harbor and the San Francisco Bay. I'm from Kenosha. ready for our quick connect questions oh man okay sure all right well these are brought to you everybody by frank steiner they're located at 508 58th street order those garbage plates your breakfast your lunch go say hi to kevin and tell him k-town connects they got some merch for sale now yes the holiday season i like coffee mug yes did you see the cute um dinosaur yeah uh, (laughs) that's so cute you know, cool. I, I'm almost done with my holiday shopping. I have a few things left. Of Obviously, I have to get a Captain Mike's gift card. Obviously. And I'm going to go down to, to a Frank's Diner and probably get one of those mugs and a T-shirt. Oh, very nice. I love them. Yeah, they're so great. great. They're great. All right, so are you ready for these Quick Connect questions? Bring it on. Let's All do right. it. Favorite park in Kenosha? Uh, what's the one across? What's the one that's beside the Camper Center? Yeah, so. Oh, Wolf and Bottle? No. Uh, Shit, I Anderson? No, man. No, the Anderson. <laughs> no, Anderson's a friend. Well, uh, can I say the Anderson Center? Yeah. The you park like there. Park. Well, I can just say my favorite park area will be uh, the Anderson Center where they hold the the jazz. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. And Twilight yeah. Jazz because we can walk jazz. there from our house. Oh, yeah. so great. We walk Ralphie there. That's our dog. Yeah. Cool. So I'm around there every day with the dog a couple of times a day. Nice. I really like Lincoln Park, and I only went there for the first time last year. Wow. And I was like, I never it's knew. It's a great park. Yeah, it's fabulous. Disc golf there. You can you disc golf. You can disc golf there. Oh, Lincoln really? Park. I don't you know. Do, uh, you should get into it. I'll take you guys next yeah. summer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite museum in Kenosha? Oh, Civil War. Oh. I went there a ton with my grandma. I love it. I grew up loving dinosaurs, so I'm all about the dinosaur museum. Oh, very <laughs> nice. All right, uh, favorite pizza place in Kenosha? There's oh, so many. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I mean, we, we order Luigi's all the you time. Luigi's so. all the time, yeah. You're not obligated to say that. No, we do. No, we get <laughs> But we also love Villa de Carlo. I mean, they are neighbors, mm-hmm. and yeah. that Bev special. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Yeah, so. I would also throw, like, Vallejo's there and, of course, Kaiser's. Like, they're, I'd say they're our main pizza yeah. joints, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, the... It's hard to find a bad pizza in Kenosha. It's so true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, I'm, I'm going to feel bad about leaving somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it changes every time you order for me. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh I love this, but I want to try this. Oh, this yeah. is so good. All right, you're going on a day trip. You're going to Milwaukee or Chicago? Oh, I'm a Chicago girl mm. all the way. I feel like I always get lost when I go to Milwaukee every time. Really? I know. It's so crazy. See, I'm opposite. I, I enjoy going to Milwaukee. It's, I think it's easier to get around. It's a little bit cheaper. It's only a half hour drive. Boom. Yeah. I was born in Chicago, though. So, like, I. So that you're like, I don't want to go back there. I just, I just love going to Chicago. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Milwaukee for me. I love going up. Uh, there's some really good soccer bars up there, mm-hmm. like the Nomad. Oh, yeah. Great there. place. Yeah. Um, I think I threw up in that bathroom a few times. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> you, you know how good it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Favorite Kenosha event when we have events that happen, besides your great events that you guys do? Mm. I think just straight off my head is like, uh, I don't know if this is an event, but like going out in the Red Witch, I think it's just mm-hmm. such a unique thing here in Kenosha. Um, I love that. I love that it's part of our community down here. Um, and we try and do stuff with Captain Andrew as much as we can yeah. when, obviously, pre-COVID or whatever like that. But I feel like that's an event. And my favorite event since I got to Kenosha was definitely the Tall Ships. I thought that was Oh, yeah. oh the Amazing. Tall yeah, Ships, that, that was, was great. That was a great was event. Yeah. We, were, we owned the bar one month at that stage. And next thing, we had, what, 30,000 people to oh, I bet you it was crazy. <laughs> Kenosha. Yeah. It was like, yeah, it was 
hurt by fire, so it was so it was good. <laughs> We're out of every beer. You get Miller Lite now. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. And they didn't care. They're like, that's fine. Okay, just give me something. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. Favorite vacation spot? Ireland. Good answer. <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's last year we went to where did we go? Amsterdam. Paris and Berlin, and that was the first trip that we took together um, without stopping in Ireland. Oh. And um, uh, and it was actually the first trip that wasn't like somewhat family related. Family or yeah. Friends, yeah. Did you hear about it from your folks? Like, you came to Europe, you didn't stop by. You know, that's the last time we were in Europe, so <laughs> it was like <laughs> we probably should have gone. Yeah. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> yeah. It's like it'll be grand. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Yeah. What is your most used emoji? <laughs> oh. That one is mine. Uh, which one was that? I don't know. What is that? Like shaking my head or like, don't, oh. I don't know. Hitting, Smacking hitting. yourself in yeah. my head with your <laughs> palm of your hand. Uh, the burger like, emotion. Oh, the burger. Oh. There we go. Yeah, look at that plug. I like that. Check out yeah. those burgers at Captain Mike's. Burger, beer, gin. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Favorite musician of all time? Oh, I'll. You're going to say him? Yeah. Bruce or, Springsteen. No. no, she's answering for me. Oh, I thought you were saying he is your favorite musician. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite? <laughs> she would say me, yes. yeah. No, Michael's favorite is Bruce Springsteen. Really? Yeah. The boss, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, like, the boss is popular back home. I kind of found here he's not as popular probably as, as he is back there, you know. Wow. Of course he is, but... Um, They're obsessed with Yeah, we, we love Bruce Springsteen. He was huge in the 80s here, but then I guess it just kind of died down a little bit. Yeah, we're still in the He's 80s. got a new, al- <laughs> a new album out this year. It's, yeah, it's yeah. pretty solid. For, I you, gave yeah. it a few listens. But yeah. Jeanette, you? Um, I don't I love Madonna. Like I'm like <laughs> stuck in the 80s myself, but um, I, you can't go wrong with Bob Dylan either. I mean... It's one of my faves, and who else would I say? Like anything from the '90s, hmm. like Bring On, Mariah Carey, Boys to Men, Ooh, like I Boys mean, to Men, yeah. Boys to Men, <laughs> ABC, <laughs> yeah. There's there's a lot of '90s being played in the bar. Uh, yeah, it's during nuts. the day these days. Yeah. yeah. So did you get mad when he plays Bruce the Boss? Are you like, God dang it, stop playing Bruce Springsteen? Yeah, we skip that song. Plus, Ooh. you love Dave Matthews as well. Oh yeah, I love oh, Dave, Dave Matthews. Matthews. I've been to a lot of yeah. their concerts. She introduced yeah. me to Dave Matthews, so. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not saying that my music is good. Like it's just. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, hey, right? Like what you like. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh, I got this one for me. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh wow. Well, well, can you give us a little bit? No, definitely not. <laughs> That's a ballsy song to try and do. Yeah. Well, that's because everyone sings it oh. with you. So, oh, okay. like, you don't really have to do too just much singing. Hold the mic up and wave it around. Yeah. Ah, smart, smart. Strategy. Yeah, I like what's, that. What's that song with tequila in it? That works well for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final question here Big Star or The Spot? Or Captain Mike's Burgers? Right. Um,. I don't ever, I don't understand the rivalry because I'm not really from here. Okay. I mean, you know, I've lived here long enough, but. Um, I'll have to go with Captain Mike's food truck. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I you like. park right in front of the spot. <laughs> 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 I like the spot because I like their dino nuggets. Ooh. Rawr, yeah, that's what I always those do. Dino I them, nuggets are so. great. Huh? Me? Um, Take it or leave it? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that wraps up our can quick we, connects. Can we not put that in the last part? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just cut it. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I can't remember if I've even been to your room. Because <laughs> 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 I walked out of Sunny House or whatever. Sunny House. Sunny Side. Sunny Side. You meant to both. I don't. I don't. I don't. All right. Well, that about wraps up our quick connects. What time is it now, Donnie? Oh, my goodness. It looks like it's time for trivia. And trivia is brought to you by Coming Up Roses Cleaning and Organizing. They are a fully insured cleaning and organizing company. They will keep your home or office clean without any judgment or hassle. No job is too big or too small for them. So support this locally owned business. Coming Up Roses Cleaning and Organizing. Give them a call at 262-748-6978 or shoot them an email at 
Coming up, Rose's cleaning kino at gmail.com. That was excellent. Well, Sounds like I, I heard that before. Well, you know what? Because my house is a mess, so I've been calling them nonstop. <laughs> All right. I think we need to call them. Yeah. We're busy. Tell them K-Town Connect sent you. It really helped us out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now it's time for the trivia where we pit our guests against Donnie. Ooh. Oh, you're going down. And we try to take some kind of category that kind of fits into your bar. So Captain Mike's had a fascinating burger menu. You have over a dozen interesting combinations of burger styles with equally interesting names. These names were created by the former owners of the bar. And they all took the names from the TV show Trailer Park Boys. So I'm going to give you the names of the burgers, and you're going to tell me where they originated from. This is multiple choice. Ooh. Oh, well, multiple choice. We all we, we have a chance. See, and choose C. See. <laughs> <laughs> so, Captain Mike's, Jeanette and Mick. The Dirty Burger. What comes on that? That's not trivia. I'm just asking. You know oh, that? there's some barbecue. I don't know. Don't ask me that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bacon, barbecue, um, blue cheese. I don't, yeah, you I think you just own the place. <laughs> like, I look at them every single day. I don't know. Okay, let's try it again. Was that right? Bacon, barbecue. That's not the trivia. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> he was just curious. Yeah. I was trying to get you a plug there to talk about your burgers. But... Okay. The Dirty Burger. Is it A, a small business operated out of a camper? B, burgers grilled out while hanging out the dump, or C, any burger cooked by Randy? Let's see. No, it is A. The Dirty Burger is a small business owned by Phil Collins that he operated out of a camper. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. It ran in the trailer park and occasionally in other areas of the town. At one time, it was also the home to Phil, Jacob, and Sarah, and was owned by Randy for a short period of time. I wish I would have known this trivia. I would have watched some, uh, watch some old yeah. episodes. <laughs> so I wasn't <laughs> going to give you multiple choice at first. I'm well, like, we, I, we're we're going to need them. Uh, yeah, this is hard. <laughs> the Swayze Express. <laughs> Donnie, is it A, the local train that comes through town? Hmm. B, a dance the girls do while listening to the Dirty Dancing soundtrack? Ooh. Oh, or C, a model locomotive train stolen by Bubbles? I love Bubbles. C. Them. You are right. Hey! I love Bubbles. He's so cute and he loves cats. <laughs> the Swayze Express is the name of an award-winning custom model locomotive train built by Patrick Swayze, oh. not the actor. Oh. Bubbles steals a train from a model train show and the gang uses it to smuggle weed in the United States. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. I could go for some weed right now the way this trivia is going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Captain Mike's. Second question, dump bees. Are they A, bees that come out of the toilet and attack Ricky? B, bees that live at the dump? Or C, a wrestling move by Bubbles similar to a body slam? C. I'm sorry, it is B. They are bees that live at the dump. Ah. Would you have said that? Yeah, I would have said that. They are particularly attracted to liquor and garbage. Oh. Donnie, you're up one nothing. Well, I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, this is too hard. We need a different. These are your burgers. I, yeah, but I don't. I never watched the show. <laughs> <laughs> I have watched the show. It was quite a while ago. So. <laughs> yeah, same here. I mean, it was funny when I watched it 15 years ago. Yeah, Does yeah. anyone ask you where these names come from? No, they just know that it's from Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> you should, like, can you name a burger after the K Town Connects podcast? Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> I won't hold you to that. <laughs> Was that burger made A on the K-Town Connects <laughs> at the train station? RC. This is too hard. I wanted... <laughs> That's how you get to them. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, and then she pretends. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right. Donnie, right, your second All question. Right. <laughs> good track pants. Ooh. Are they A, part of Ricky's wardrobe, B, the pants Julian wears when running, or C, a nickname Ricky gives to Jacob? A. You are right. Oh, fucking shit heck? ain't right, huh? They are oh, track dear. pants, part of Ricky's oh everyday attire. So I'm trying to get in the swear words I haven't said in the whole podcast, so I'm getting them in now. Get him, yeah, get it out. We're in trouble. 
Okay. I, how many questions are left? Five each, total. Oh, thank so you me. got a total. chance. Okay. So number three. Got a chance. Sunnyvale. Yeah. Is it a breakfast served at the Dirty Burger? B, the name of a cocktail Julian always carries around with him? Or C, the actual name of the trailer park? Ooh. Sunnyvale. It's C. You are right. It is C. It is hey. the name of the trailer park. You told me that last time, so I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank right. goodness we won one. That's <laughs> embarrassing. I know. If you lose to me, jeez. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be toning it all downtown. Honey <laughs> B, Captain likes the trivia. <laughs> all right, Donnie. <laughs> what is the green bastard? A burger at Captain Mike's located at uh, <laughs> 5118 6th <laughs> Avenue. It's the veggie burger, correct? <laughs> uh, it is the garden that Julian is growing. No, it's Bubbles Rustling Alter Ego. Damn it. You're down. Fuck. So it's two to one. Thank goodness. Thanks for losing that one for us. Hey, no problem. <laughs> All right. Jeanette and Mick. A Sam Squanch. Is it what Bubbles calls a spinach sandwich? <laughs> B, what Bubbles calls the Sasquatch? Or C, a bad strain of Ricky's homegrown weed? <laughs> a Sam Squanch. It's a Sam Squatch. What do you think since the Sam Squatch? You are right. It yeah. is. What I Bubbles calls the Sasquatch. Ooh. Hey, no Googling allowed. <laughs> Disqualifier. Nah, we'll give her that. <laughs> two, two, all tied up. Oh, but Bubbles is so cute. He is. You're on camera Googling that, by the way. <laughs> you can edit that. Thank you. <laughs> no, don't edit it. It just makes it that much better. Get over my face again. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard. I should watch Trailer Mark Boys again. Donnie, question four. All right. What is the shitty bill? Is it A, what Ricky calls all the mail he gets? B, a friend who pooped himself once as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> or C, the term bubble u Bubbles uses when he goes to the toilet? I have to go with B. You were right. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's a friend who pooped himself as a kid. <laughs> My guessing Shitty is on point here. Uh, this is almost like, what would I do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Three to two. Last two questions. All One right. for each of you. Pressure's on. Oh, Lord. You got this. All right. The Cheeseburger Walrus. Mm, one of my faves. What's in that? That has cheddar and Swiss caramelized onions, some mushrooms, horseradish mayo. Mm. Ooh, so yeah. good. That sounds fantastic. That's the one I got uh, yeah. about two weeks ago. I got some uh, carryout order, and mm -hmm. I got that one. I forgot what I ordered until you said what it was on it. I'm it's like, okay. Yeah. So good. So what is a cheeseburger walrus? Is it A, a nickname given to Randy? Mm -hmm. B, Phil Collins upcharges these burgers claiming they're walrus meat? Or C... A nickname given to Ray when he tries to grow out a beard. I've got this one, Jeanette. It's A. You are right. It hey. is A. It's a nickname given to Randy. And we're tied up again. Right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> Donnie. Let's do this. A shopping cart. There's a burger at Captain Mike's called a shopping cart. Oh, yes. I'm going to get this one right. Are you? Yep. Are they fre A, frequently used in the trailer park to transport illegal goods? B, items that Bubbles steals from the mall and sells them to another mall. Or C, used several times for racing in the Sunnyvale Olympics. C. No. What? It's B. For extra money, Bubbles steals shopping carts from a local mall, cleans and fix them up, and resells them to another mall for 18 bucks. Damn it. 18? Yeah. Pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it this weekend while I was going through the trailer park boy clips, trying to find the wrong answers for these. Wow, you really studied up on this podcast. Yeah, I know a lot no more kidding. about this show than I ever did. Yeah. So, <laughs> Burgers on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to we used to watch this in the morning uh, 
at Captain's, we would have the projector come down and P- Trailer Park Boys was playing oh, right. for breakfast all the time. Oh, cool, cool. Like, so, I haven't seen these in like ten, at least ten years. We got my notes. Do you know what the burgers are named after now? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> oh, and, and the well, you guys win though. What I have? I, there's not another one. No, it's five. All right. Woo! Won. Thanks, Thanks Donnie. You, you win a bottle of Lou Perini's bottled water. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Gotta stay hydrated. You only yes, share one though. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're almost running low. We're almost done with season it's, one, so. <laughs> and Anthony ain't giving to us for free anymore, so. He never did. Just that one. Oh, he did give us he one. He gave us one. Nice. So we'll we'll give him a little plug. Right. Prini's gas and grocery. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, guys, that was so much fun. And Thank blast. you for coming to the K Town Connects podcast. Get on down to Captain Mike's at 5118 Sixth Avenue in downtown Kenosha. Get a burger. Get a mac and cheese. Get a beer. Get a whiskey. Get a gin. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram. They're always posting great pictures of their food, their specialty cocktails, beer, mac and cheese of the week, everything. Follow them there. And uh, what was the website to get that uh, nice food truck? www.captainmikespub.com. Ooh. Oh, wow. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it does. This was a delicious episode. I'm going <laughs> to eat it up when it comes out. <laughs> well, thanks, you guys, so much for stopping by. Um Let's say our goodbyes to our great sponsors, uh, Blue Horn Digital, mm-hmm. Coming Up Roses Cleaning, and Frank Steiner. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us, guys. Thank hey, you. Thank you. You guys have been lovely guests, the best guests we've had yet. Yeah, right. Best ones today by far. Yes. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Jason, what are we doing on this podcast? Uh, we are connecting Kenosha. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Boys to men. Boys to men. A B C. B B B.